Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with a fun quick little break here. A three box break of 2022 Fanatics Under Wraps 2.0 autographed baseballs. One spot gets you nine players. One spot gets nine players. And there's one spot that has any and all multi-signed baseballs. So there's, there's not going to be, so if we pull that multi-signed baseball right there, that is not a randomizer. That'll just go to that one spot right there. That makes it easy. No, no, no sad times, just one really happy person. All right, so um, that's the whole list of players right there. And I actually put those in the spreadsheet to make it a little bit easier for us. So just so you take a look, let's go to the bottom of the page. There's 171 players, or 170 plus the any and all assigned baseball spot. Now these are the people that bought spots. Thank you very much. Let's multiply them by nine. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So you can also see that there's 171 right there. Just didn't want to make any mistakes. So let's copy those names, put them into one big list here. Let's copy the players and the multi-sign spot and put them into another list here. And then we'll match you up. We're going to randomize names and players and match you up with the player. Good luck. Let's roll it. Randomize both lists. Three and a four, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven, we got Brian all the way down to Walter. Three and a four, seven times for the players. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. Good luck. We got Bullet Bob. No, I don't want to print those out. We got Bullet Bob all the way down to Chris Bryant. So just to preserve my voice, I'm not going to read off 177 names times two. But I will show you the list as is, and then I'll alphabetize by your first names, so then you can see um, who you have all grouped together. And when we when you rewatch this video after it's uploaded, you can you can go you can audit this list if you want to if you don't trust the alphabetizing of this. Huge player list. Ooh, look at Leonard with the any and all multi-signed baseballs. That's pretty nice. All right, now, control, right click, sort sheet A to Z. That's by your first names now. There's Ariano. There's your players, Brian. Let's make this a little bit smaller here. So Ariano, Brian with a bunch of players here, Connie, Gregory, James, James P, there's Leonard, Mark, Michael, some last spot mojo players, some ni nice names there, Mike Russell, Nancy, Nestor, Thomas, Tyrone, Walter, Gwen Walter. There you go. I'm going to pause the video. We're going to allow for some trades. And if you need to see your name again, I could scroll down to, uh, I can scroll back down to whatever position there so you can see who you have. So stick around, everybody. We'll be right back. All right. Welcome back, everybody. As you can see in the chat, Right below me, TWC, trade window is closed. So let's open up this fresh case here. You can see under wraps baseballs right there. And 
kind of an awkward... I'm not really sure how I'm going to randomize this. There's 18 baseballs in here. Why don't we just take a few out? Here's a group of three. Here's a group of three. Here's another group of three. Try to get as many on the table as possible. Can I get all of them on the table? Possible. Let's see. I don't know if I don't think there's any case hits or anything like that in here. Actually, yeah, I think I make all this work. Initially I was just gonna grab three random boxes, but I think I could get all this on here. All right, so if you follow me from left to right, that's a stack of three, right? There's one, two, three, four, five, and then on the far right, six. So we'll roll the die. One, two, three, four, five, or six. And it's two, so we're going to do that stack right over here. This stack we will save for next time. And then I'll just kind of randomly either grab three random boxes or do the same kind of dice roll thing again. Thinking caps on. Good luck, everybody. I'll play a few rounds of Who Am I? America's favorite game where I give you the clues. And you tell me who it is. I'm an active pitcher in baseball, a right hander, and I, tonight, I just set. This team's single season strikeout record surpassing Ron Goodry. It's a record breaking night for the Yankees. Should be pretty easy. Made the start today. No, not on a, a Yankee. There you go. Diego's got it. Garrett Cole. Set the New York Yankees single season strikeout record surpassing Ron Goodry. The Yankee single season, not, 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 the, not, the, not the big one here. Um, let's see, I got my teams or my players in alphabetical order now. Garrett Cole, that is from Mike Russell. I should show you the auto, huh, Mike? Oh, they really got these in here, huh? Oh, there you go. Stickers covering it. There it is. So you got the Garrett Cole autograph. Got the Fanatic sticker. Another MLB authentication sticker. There's another card inside there, too. Nice. No, uh, yeah, no spider tack on there. At least I didn't feel any spider tack on there, Kevin. Clean baseball. Clean baseball. So this is three box break number one on the fourth. Two S's, two L's. Yes. All right, there you go, Mike. All right, next one. 
Now the the next uh, did I load up the next three box break? No, I didn't. But I'll load up another three box break. Look at just look at the box. This is the potential of what we can get in sets like this. And you know the quality that Fanatics delivers. Especially with these live memorabilia, so keep chasing. Oh, the ball was stuck in the box. Yeah, it was It was spider tag. It wasn't me not lifting up the top tray. It's definitely the spider tag. Thanks, Kevin. Good looking out. All right, next one. I think this should be, I can just read off stats and this this might be enough. All right, who am I? A retired baseball player. I always forget that he was a uh, lefty. I don't even, I don't even know how to, how to I, I can putt lefty, but he hit lefty. Lifetime 262, had 2,584 career hits, 563 home runs, and 1,702 runs batted in. A 14-time All-Star a five-time World Series champion, an AL MVP, a two-time World Series MVP, two-time Silver Slugger, four-time AL Home Run Leader, an AL RBI Leader. Uh, my numbers have been retired by the two teams that I was mainly on. And um, was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1993 with 93.6% first ballot Hall of Famer and at one point, this was one of the craziest parts of his career. Remember when he was brainwashed and he almost killed the Queen of England? That was crazy. I couldn't, I couldn't believe that. That's a scandal that I feel like we, we don't talk about that scandal enough. Why isn't there a, why isn't there a 30 for 30 for that? You know, why haven't we talked to Reggie Jackson about this? Yes, it's Reggie Jackson, Michael Losia with Reggie Jackson. Why haven't we talked to him about this? I, I feel like that's something in, in a dark time in sports history that is rarely talked about. That he was programmed to kill the Queen of England. God rest your soul, R.I.P. But that that was that was a pretty uh, that was a pretty crazy time. Gosh, if it wasn't for LAPD's finest, Lieutenant Frank Drebin, we finally figured that out. So they got all your authentication stickers and everything there. That's a nice auto, Mister October, and the HOF inscription. Now, Rex, what are you talking about? Frank Drebin cracked cracked the case already. You crack the case. He's fine. All right. Last box. Who am I? I am a retired baseball player, currently 85 years old, a righty, born on my birthday. Lifetime 267, 2,848 hits, 268 home runs, 1,300 runs batted, and play for a sing one team his entire career from 1955 to 1977. An 18-time All-Star, pretty much his entire career All-Star. Two-time World Series champ, an AL MVP, a World Series MVP, a 16-time Gold Glover, a Roberto Clemente Award winner. Wow. Diego, that was fast. Are you looking this up? 
ALR, what gave it away? ALRBI leader in 1964. My uh, number five for the Orioles, retired, part of the Orioles Hall of Fame, first ballot Hall of Famer in 1983 with 91.98% of the vote. This Hall of Famer is another Hall of Famer's favorite player, Mike Jasperson. Nick Jaspi's dad, recently honored at the Industry Summit, is in the, uh, the Hall of Fame. This is one of his favorite players, if not his favorite player, baseball player. Nice. So you got all the uh, fanatic stickers. There should be an MLB hologram sticker there. And then you'll get the, uh, there's a card inside there as well. So let's see. Well, I mean, we share the same birth date, not the birth year. I'm not 85. Um, Brooks Robinson is for Brian. There you go, Brian uh, Steckloff. I think I got that right. There you go, Brian S. There you go, Brian. Brooks Robinson going your way. Thanks, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.